What a clash of colors in this beautiful sunny Australian day. My name is Steph and in this video I show you how to change colors of things into your photo. Like this one doesn't match at all with anything around me. But the easy way, just remove it. Anyway, let's get into this video. And here I am on the Darktable interface and this is a release 340 which is the latest available in January 2021. Now let's assume I want to change the color of this card in this photo that I made in Cuba, fantastic place for photography. And uh, I want to change it from uh, let's say yellow to maybe pink just uh, to contrast the color of the sea. Um, but there is an easy way to do it and uh, I'm doing this on a JPEG photo so it's not even a raw photo and that's because I did this photo with my mobile. Now you see I haven't done any work on this photo so the easy way to do it is just to go into the module which is called color zone and uh, I activate this color zone module and now I want to change the color yellow from yellow to pink and a few easy steps to do that. The first one is to pick the color that you want to change. You can have a pick it because you see it, it's yellow or you can use the color picker here either with a single color pick or with a zone color pick. Now I can do with a single one, single point and I put it here on the yellow and uh, when you do that you see a black line here on the right side in the area and let's define what color you picked. The second thing that you need to do is to change your color and you go in hue and from here you can pick it and change the color of the car so from yellow to for example we said pink and that's pretty much it now a few problems come up obviously otherwise it would be too simple the first one is that uh, the car is a bit too saturated for my eyes and I would like to have it, the colors a little bit down here and the second one is that uh, I change the color not only for the car but also for the surrounding areas now let's start fixing the color change only in the area I want so only in the car and to do that we need to introduce the mask and I want to do that with an easy way using the drone mask and just for the car and to do that you can use the add path to define the area where you want to change the color so let's do this and let me define the area that's very simple to do it just do the left click on the mouse I do it quickly here And this is the mask and uh, more or less is perfect uh, there are a few things that I may want to tune and you can see it here you get the uh, pink applied to the beach here and to do that you just drag one of the points a little bit closer you may also want to uh, add a point for example here to get it closer to the car and to do that you do control and left click on the line and you just add another point very easy going and remember not to define only the color of the car but also the possible deflection that you have for example here on the back and uh, that's pretty much it now the color is applied only to the car and not to the rest of the photo and you can see it before and after with and without mask clicking on this button here below there was before with all of the color applied to the whole beach and uh, with a mask we have fixed this problem and let's go now to problem number two which is the saturated color of the car and that again has an easy fix actually has a free fixes the first one is to uh, control the opacity with the control scroll button on the mouse and you can decrease the opacity you can see now it's 90% 85% but if you do that basically you're going to introduce a little bit more of the original yellow and, um, and that's how it works I go back to 100% the opacity you can change it also here into the right side of the interface for example I put it to 50% and you can see how more yellow is introduced into the car and uh, the pink has gone it's not really desaturation but only an insertion of uh, the previous yellow if you want really to do only desaturation you go here on the saturation and you decrease the saturation on the graph there is one thing to keep in mind when you desaturate the car 
you don't desaturate the pink, which is the new color, but the old color, which is the yellow. In fact, if you desaturate the pink, you see that nothing actually changes. Double click and you go back. But if you desaturate the yellow, you see how is actually the color desaturating only of the pink part. And now I go back and that's probably the color I want. Now I have just one last thing to say and um, you can see that uh, the change has been done to all the card and not to the rest of the photo which is perfect and that's what we wanted. But I can see also that the color here of the light on the back has changed and has moved to pink. You can see that if I move this mask slightly on the right, just left click on the mask, you can see that here it's more of a red and here has gone to sort of pinkish. If we want to actually refine that, you want to exclude this area, there's no way you can exclude it from uh, an area that you predefined like I have done now. And the best way you can do it, um, at least based on my knowledge, is to use the brush and go around. Unfortunately, in doing that, it takes a little bit more time to actually draw your mask. So instead of the 10 seconds that I needed before, you may need two, three minutes. It's not too much, isn't it? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave a comment and let me know what is the weather in your place. It's absolutely hot here in Melbourne at the moment, over 30 degrees and will be even more tomorrow. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao, ciao.